I'm Ryan Lestrange, and this is The Monday Word. I want to share with you a prophetic word that uh, really came out of an encounter I just had. Where are the wells? Where are the wells? I just had an encounter with the Lord the other day where the glory of God came upon me. I was shaking. I was weeping. I was watching uh, a vintage sermon from one of the generals who's passed away. And this man used to have such miracles in his ministry, and he was talking about that era. And the Spirit of God began to say to me, where are the wells? Now, there's an amazing story in John 4. Jesus meets uh, the woman there uh, at the well, and the woman has been married five times. She's currently living with someone, and Jesus starts ministering to her. But one of the things that caught my attention was verse 13. Jesus answered and said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water, this natural water at the well, will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water I will give him will never thirst. But the water I will give him will become in him a well of water spring up into eternal life. And so Jesus compares the born-again spirit, the born-again experience to a well. But I believe God wants to raise up even regional wells, places where the power, the glory of God is so strong. In Matthew 9, 35, it said Jesus went about their cities teaching, preaching, and healing. So he was explaining, he was proclaiming, and there was the supernatural. I remember when I was a young man and God told me to go to Bible college under the uh, tutelage of Dr. Norval Hayes. And I got there to that Bible college. It was not a huge campus. It was not a huge group. But people were there literally from the nations. They came to, to drink from that well of faith. There was people that were healed of cancer. People that were healed of lupus. People that were delivered from the most dramatic kind of bondages because somebody dug a well. I remember some years later being in Tulsa, Oklahoma and visiting the campus of Oral Roberts University. And then I went to Rama Bible College uh, founded by Dr. Kenneth E. Hagan. And I went into their prayer and healing school and people were coming from all over the nations to sit under the teaching of the healing power of God. And I realized this is a well. And the other day, God began to bring these memories to me and said, I'm stirring hunger in the nations for wells. We've gotten so preoccupied with just building our ministries, building nice churches, and we've got creative pastors and creative thinkers and amazing staging and lighting. But where can you go if you have cancer and you need to find a healing well? Where can you go if there's some kind of horrific bondage on your life and you need to find a well of deliverance? I believe God wants to birth in the nations of the world ministries that are not just great and creative and wonderful. All of that is good. But literally wells of power, wells of deliverance, wells of healing. And so I heard the Lord say, I'm raising up a hunger for wells again. He said there's a tenacity that's going to hit pioneers to pioneer places and ministries that are wells of my power. He said, hear the call to the wells in this hour. Hear the call to these places where the supernatural is in operation. And then God told me he was going to raise up the pioneers and give them teams that would maintain the well. Once you dig a well, you got to keep the pipes clean. You got to keep pumping that well. If you don't have the right team, it'll die out. And God is raising up teams that are hungry for the power and presence of God. You got to have that. And then he said, there's going to be warfare that hits the well. You got to be developed in spiritual warfare. I know it'd be easier to just say, well, I don't believe in that. But the reality is sometimes Satan is going to show up and oppose these wells. And then God is going to give strategy. I believe that there are emerging wells. I believe right now God has sent people into key cities, key territories, key regions to dig up a well that is going to function and flow with great power. One of the most famous wells of all time is the healing rooms that was originated by John G. Lake. God had sent John G. Lake back from, from South Africa where there was such a move of the power and the glory of God into the Pacific Northwest. And he established, based on a word from God, the healing rooms, a place where people could come with all ailments, all sicknesses, all diseases, and be healed by the power of God. And there were literally hundreds of cases of documented healings in those healing realms, uh, rooms, so much so that the city in which it was based was named the healthiest city in America. May God do it again. May God raise up people with revelation, people with vision that pay the price and dig a well in cities that even the secular media, even the natural people cannot, uh, cannot dilute what is happening. They can't ignore what is happening. I believe God wants to erect healing wells again, deliverance wells, prophetic 
wells, wells of power. And I believe God is saying that it is an hour for the pioneers to ask themselves, where are the wells? Are you being called just to start something average or are you being called to dig a well? Is your family being called to go help pioneer a well? Are you being called and attracted and drawn to a place that God is destined to become a well? I feel this is a word in my spirit for this hour. As the glory of God was coming on me uh, just the other day, the Lord said, where are the wells? Where are those places full of power, full of deliverance, full of miracles? We know how to do church. We know how to do ministry. But where are the wells? Where are the places where the power of God literally affects a generation? I believe that is the question the Lord is asking. And I believe the Lord never asks a question without providing an answer. Right now, he's stirring the hearts of men and women. Just like John G. Lake had a vision. Just like Daddy Seymour led the Azusa Street Revival by a vision. Just like so many throughout the generations have had a vision. And as they embarked on that vision, they, they tapped the power of God and created a well that the hungry, the thirsty could come drink from. I believe there's a new generation of well diggers that is arising this hour that will not just be content doing normal life, normal church, normal ministry, but they will pay the price to develop a life-giving well, places where cancer is obliterated, places where the worst demonic bondages are delivered and set free. These are the wells God is establishing. Father, I thank you for this prophetic word. Even now, let it land upon people. Maybe they say, I don't know what this word means for me. I'm not a preacher. But you can begin to be a prayer warrior for your nation, your city, your region. God, raise up a well. You can begin to pray and to prophesy. Father, whatever their function or capacity is to be a part of fulfilling this word, I thank you for stirring them to action. And we declare amongst the nations of the world that the wells of heaven arise. In Jesus' name, amen.